Oh. Hey, Mandy, I was curious about uh, oh, okay. Adib Tara and kind of what you've seen from uh, your teammate this year in camp. It seems like he's had a good camp. I guess he got dinged up a little bit, but prior to that, what have you seen from Adib? Adib came back in a phenomenal shape. He did a lot with his body and like in the workouts, he, um, he really attacked each day in the summer workouts and in camp. He was he was eating all camp, and then uh, he's been hurt a little bit. But as soon as he comes back, like I think he'll he'll go back to just balling, and he's been making a, a ton of plays. Andy, this scheme uh, with the odd front is, is kind of designed to uh, get the linebackers through to the quarterback a lot of the time. Um, as far as the defensive line, where's your role in the pass rush, and how good do you think? Uh, this year's group can be in that regard. Well, I think it. I think that it um, helps us get off the edge a lot more, especially compared to our old defense that um, where we would start inside and then work to outside. But now, starting at the five, I think in pass rush mode, like it'll really help us get speed off the ball and like actually use our our pass rush abilities like better. In terms of that, are you? I mean, so much of the focus has been getting off of blocks but with the new kind of way of lining up? Is it more about working in space? Is it a combination? I mean, it's just about being aggressive and uh, being a true D lineman, you know? And um, yeah, I would just say it's just it's just being more aggressive than the old, old time. Last one for me, what is the key to, as a defensive lineman to getting off a block uh, as you're going after a quarterback? What's the, what are some of the keys that you gotta do? Um, first, get off the ball. Uh, use your hands and um, just being active with getting, getting their hands off of you and getting to an edge, really. Thank you. How did you find out that you got the number one pick this year, and what did that mean to you? Um, we, uh, a couple of us met as like a, a leader group to choose the order, and um, I actually voted to have Brennan go first, but um, a couple other guys voted for me, and um, I was just like, all right. <laughs> uh, I'll take the first pick. That's cool. And uh, what uh, does it? Is there any sort of like room pride now? You're back to back D D lineman. Um, now I'm going up. Um, I mean a little bit, but I haven't really talked to Bernie about that. And um, but no, it was really cool, and it was it was a big honor for me to do that. Uh, Bronco said um, on Friday that some of the guys who decided to come back maybe started to have some doubts around winter workouts and spring ball um, just because of all the challenges and all the stuff that was going on with the extra stuff that you got to do. Did you ever feel any doubt of your decision to come back or was it something that you already knew in your mind that you wanted to do and there was never doubt in your mind? No, not at all. There was never a doubt in my mind. Like even on like my worst practices or worst days in winter spring and spring ball and summer workouts I I never doubted it for a second and I just I thought of it as like my last shot my last season and just like trying to attack every day and like for an end goal like just I'm not, I didn't come back just to come back and like go through the process again like I, I came back to make a difference and looking at where you guys are at fall camp right now are you happy of where this D-line is? And do you feel like some of the younger guys have really kind of stepped up and shown more potential? Um, yeah, I I think that uh, as a D-line, we're really, we make progress every day. And like, there's a couple days where guys don't have energy or, some, or something like that. But uh, I think every day as a whole, we make a lot of progress each day, like whether it be from the young guys, from the second years, third years, I think that um, each and every day someone else shows up and um, they're really battling to to make the travel squad and this competition is really good for the whole group, for like me, Aaron, Jameer, Adib, and everyone else. I think the competition just rises our talent level a little bit more. What has, what has having Aaron back this year added to the D-line? Oh, it's awesome. It just it feels like old times, honestly. And um, I'm really glad to have him back cuz uh like we were boys and like missing him for the for a whole year kind of sucked, but um it's good to have him back and um 
he he just honestly he boosts my my level of um of effort of everything like he he makes me work harder because he's he's so good on the field and he's just a really talented fo football player that um he's he's a great competition to have there and I love playing with him yeah how because I mean he was playing really well especially down the stretch two years ago and then he opts out last year how has he been able to maybe pick up where he left off or maybe even improve despite uh, not uh being with you guys last year I think that uh, the spring ball um, a couple of months ago really helped him get back on his feet. And then I think this whole summer we, we were working together, doing like D-line work after workouts and stuff like that. And uh, I think that really paid off for him, like just getting back in the groove of things and um, being able to like come back in football shape, you know. And um, I, I think that he, he really benefited from spring ball and uh, just doing extra work in the off season to be able to catch up to everybody else. And this is Chris from the Sabre. I'm curious about the, the interior, the eight gaps. Obviously, Jameer can play in there. You've slid in there sometimes <laughs> in, in your career, but who can go inside and take on two guys at a time? Well, Aaron and, um, and Jameer do a great job in there. And um, they're still working out, like just learning how to how to do it. And I think that they've done a really good job on like um, just attacking like their assignments and what they need to do to accomplish the defense. And I, I think they've done a really good job. Hey, Mandy, just going from kind of when you first got to grounds just to now, after you know you broke the rock a couple weeks ago after summer conditioning, and now first jersey pick. Just how much have you kind of realized kind of the importance and role that you kind of play on this year's team just as a leader? Um, it hasn't really hit me yet, but just Coach Sinem always tells me just like trying to step into that leader role each and every day and let your voice be heard. And um, these guys will follow you and like whatever you say or do, like they'll follow you and um, just keep working and uh, keep being the, the leader by example that I always come come in and work hard every day and just keep being that guy, and um, the guys will follow. Yeah, because you have been a quieter guy in the past. Have you kind of had to, you know, realize, you know, when the opportunities are there to be more vocal now? Yeah, 100%. Just, like, breaking it down and just giving, like, the defense maybe a couple words and, like, I know, like, a lot of the DBs love to, love to talk a lot, and I, I let them do that, but, like, if I have something on my mind, I'll, I'll definitely speak up now. And um, that's something different that I had to learn and acquire over like this off season and uh, this fall camp and like in stepping into that uh, leader role. One last one for me. Um, what's it like being able to play under guys that played at Virginia? So you've got Coach Sinem, obviously Hagens, you've got Chris Peace back. Like, does that mean anything extra to you guys to see former players want to come back and rejoin the program? Oh, yeah, 100%. And uh, especially with Sinem, like, where we meet every day, there's a big uh, big picture of him that we look up to. Like, you could see it's right above, like, where we watch film and stuff. So, like, it's very easy to, to be like, wow, like, this guy, he did big things here at UVA, and he went on to do big things. And, like, now he's back coaching here. It's just you could tell that he really loves this and like he really loves the school and that uh, he's really putting his all into this, into his job. And uh, I love it for that. And for everyone else too, like you could just tell that like when they come back here, like it means something to them and each and every practice means something to them.